welcome back guys in the previous lecture we have completed the navbar implementation so now in this lecture we are going to learn about the setup of our backend environment that is node.js environment so it's just very simple so in our project folder first you have to initialize the npm then you have to install the express.js and the related modules which are belongs to the node.js so first of all i will close uh, i will minimize this client project so now i am going to install the npm that means initialize the npm so open the new terminal so you can split the terminal or you can click on the plus terminal so i am going to split the terminal because you should understand what is happening in the react side and what is happening in the node side so that's the reason i will use both react terminal and the node terminal side by side so make sure you are in the share rooms that means our uh, main folder so if you are in the client that means you are in the react so make sure you should be in the uh, share rooms folder so now i am going to initialize the npm you just need to type npm in it press enter so it will initialize the npm that means uh, node js application so for all the questions you just need to press enter that's it so you can see over here we got the package.json file now i am going to install the express js because we are going to use express as our backend framework so you just need to type npm install express press enter so the express js package has been installed successfully so we got this package log.json as well as the node modules so now i am going to create the entry point of our node js application so you can name that entry point as the index.js or server.js so the server.js is i am going to create server.js so in this server.js we have to create the entry point of our node js application so you just need to create the express js server so first of all i will initialize the express so require express const express is equal to require express now i am going to create the app const app is equal to express so after the express you just need to write this parenthesis so then with the help of this app variable you can create the server so you just need to type listen method so app dot listen so i am going to use this snippet so const port is equal to process dot env dot port so this is the by default port and the manual port is 5000 and this is the method to start the node js server or express js server so app dot listen so it will take the first parameter as the port number the so the port number will be the automatical one or default one so the automatical one is the process dot env dot port and the default one or the manual one is 5000 so it will take the port number and the second parameter is callback function so if our port is executed successfully so it will print this statement in the console so now i am going to start this server so to start the node.js application you just need to type node followed by the entry point so our entry point is present in this server.js file so that's the reason i am going to write server that's it press enter so it will start the node.js server in our share rooms project so uh, let the let the pro application execute sorry here i forgot to write the console.log statements that's the reason it is not showing any output so i have tried the second time also so let me write the console.log console.log node server started node server started control s so now i am going to restart the server node server here you can see we got the output so every time we cannot restart the server so it is a waste of time that's the reason you have to use the npm package called as the node mon because react supports the hot reloading whenever you press the control s the server will be restarted but in node.js we do not have that feature default so that's the reason we have to use the 
npm package which is called as the nodemon so if you use the nodemon whenever you press control s in the application so the node server will be automatically restarted so here i am going to install that uh, npm package npm i nodemon press enter so it is very useful application whenever you are building the complex apps so because uh, every time uh, restarting server is the waste of time so when you press control s it should be restarted so now i am going to start the server by using the nodemon so it is same you just instead of node you just replace nodemon nodemon server press enter so it will start node server using the nodemon here you can see node server started so now i am going to make some changes node server started using nodemon control s so here you can see i haven't restarted the server but whenever i press the control s so the server will be restarted automatically so this is about the setup of our backend environment that means node.js so in the next lecture we are going to set up our db database mongodb thank you